This is part six of our little Piaget and adventure. We're going to look at some classroom applications of this theory. Active exploration and inquiry learning should be emphasized. Lots of messing about. Students learn best through active exploration to discover. And this is more likely to retain the information rather than just passively receiving stuff. Instruction should be developmentally appropriate. Provide the instruction only when the child is ready and when the child is interested. Number three, you want to maximize curiosity, create this cognitive dissonance, but at the same time, minimize frustration. That means the variety of input needs to match students' schemes. This maximizes the disequilibrium and the desire to learn. If you get too far out in front, you're going to create frustration. So you want to maximize disequilibrium or curiosity, but you don't want to frustrate them, don't want to get too far out ahead. Play is a very important way to learn. This is how young children learn. Exploring, messing around, finding the properties of things. Play can be used in a curriculum to reinforce other types of learning as well. Social interaction. Children learn a great deal by interacting with each other. That means use cooperative learning, peer interaction, as well as collaborative activities. Some classroom applications. This is the end of part six. Piaget.